need to replenish my stock. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my story entertain you... Over here. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? In my line of business, patience is key. Do come again. Oh, tis you. You're a welcome sight. Forgive my boldness. But I've a small favor to ask of you. Would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. A trinket in yon shop caught my eye. A small, ornate box of exceptional craftsmanship. Alas, twould seem I do not have the coin on hand to purchase it. I can certainly procure the gold later, but by then, the box might be gone. If you'd be kind enough to lend me the amount I need, I would repay every last coin. Yes? Is there aught I can do for you? Or... Are you sure? Oh, many thanks. I shall repay you anon, you've my word. Not you again! I thought I made myself quite clear. Ah, but I've brought the gold this time. I assume that changes things. Oh, well, I. If you've got the gold, then you're welcome to spend it. This is the one you've been eyeing, isn't it? Go on then, take it. My thanks. I finally have what I came for, and worry not, you'll have your coin back in good time, I promise you. He seems a young man of decent character. I believe his promise to repay you was a genuine one. Now to report to Captain Brandt. If you wish to meet with this person, I would gladly lead the way. Oh. What, what do you think? Does this suit me? The person we're here to meet is nowhere to be seen. Shall we come back later? I'm not sure we're making any progress here. We might want to remind ourselves of the particulars of our task. Pawns are permitted to approach the castle, but not walk the grounds. I shall accompany you to the entrance. We shall await you.
You here, Master? So, you've come. Captain Brandt bade me allow you passage. Shift's done. I'm off to the tavern. I will release you, should you pay an honest sum. Silence!
Battle is best avoided here. Pawns are not permitted within the castle. I will bid you farewell when we reach the entrance. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. The Arisen decides our- Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You have lost sight of your path, but I can point the way. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. May these words guide you true. You've my gratitude. If the way forward is shrouded to you, I can offer guidance. It is lovely to see you. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Over here, if you please. We shall remain here.
have no right. I mustn't let the captain see my things. If you want to leave, show us your uh, sincerity. Don't you dare think to try anything. Not trained for this. <laughs> what? I'm sure I can handle this. What's your problem?
To be avoided, I take it, Arisen. Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. Indeed, you are correct. Welcome to Bjorn, and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price... Just remember... Misers die early deaths. Hope to see you again. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Gold is a resource. I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. But a flesh wound, yet enough to shame me.
calculated. Do not give up hope. Help will come. Thank you, Master. I only hope I did not disappoint. So I'm taking in my boots. Who wouldn't be? This is your chance to prove what will become of me. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. <laughs> Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Now you've done it. Enchantment of cold to freeze our bones. As I recall, we have another matter to attend to in this domain. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the... We must rest, though the sun is still up. Well met, sir. I'm just grateful I get to meet the quiet right. This might be worth a read. Let's have a look then. Oh. 
Here's a surprise. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Pray, allow me to open yon chest. Hell is. Vermond was once a bee-string kingdom. Truly? Indeed, though it is not widely known among the common folk. Now to report to Captain Brandt. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. I have an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ilk. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week, with no one slated to mind the house in my stead. Fear not, I only ask your name to list as a tenant. You needn't bother yourself with the cleaning, and I don't expect you to stay cooped up in there, neither. I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a waypoint on your travels. Sound appealing? Then come on by and have a look-see. I've taken the liberty of marking the location on your map. By your command, Harissa. Greetings, Your Majesty. Have you a moment to speak? There 
is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. You've done a fine job culling those monsters, your majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the Arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Deesa can no longer deny your presence. And ere it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. We've accomplished what we set out to do. That is laudable in and of itself. Indeed. You've culled more than your fair share of monsters. I expect tales of your valor will soon be told in taverns. I concur. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Pray, make use of the key I gave you to enter the palace dungeons, your majesty. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? For some time now, t'was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign that one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and t'would be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty while examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds. I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems, she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flower. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet tis strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Vermont. I dare say, t'was not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign. Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. I am glad to hear it, for I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deesa's scheme and securing your enthronement. Horns are permitted to approach the castle, but not walk the grounds. I shall accompany you to the entrance.
soldiers need better training. Master, I have we shall await you here, Master. So, you've come. Captain Brandt bade me allow you passage. The best quality a soldier can have is loyalty. You ought to learn when to leave well enough alone. Have you come to release me from this jail? Who are you? Aha! Uh -huh. Then we are presented with three options. Either the law of our world that allows only one arisen has been upended, or Deezer's arisen is false, or you are lying to me. Have you proof that you are arisen, as you say? Ah, they say the arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon's claw. By that mark, t'would seem tis true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be arisen. He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true arisen, the one fit to lead them as their ruler. And what befell him, you ask? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar, whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Aye, I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be, hmm? Escape? But why? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I can devote all my time to my own interests. And I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demands. Tis a paradise to me, this cell. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might rethink the matter. Tell me, does that ring any bells? I suspected as much. Then we are done here. Leave me be.
First, assess the field. Then, uh... You can't come in here. Oi, you can't come in here. Good day to you. Days like this make me glad to be alive. Such peace. I should very much like to rejoin you, Master. What's this? Come to admire my sculptures, have you? <laughs> ho, ho! To think my eminence as a collector would reach in the ears of the Arisen. If only my collection were complete, I'd fain allow you to inspect it. Alas, the sculpture that I commissioned to be its centerpiece is yet to arrive. And would wound my pride to have you behold my collection ere it is made whole. If your curiosity shall not be denied, however, mayhap you'd consider paying a visit to the sculptor in my stead. The man's home is located in Bakbatal. You need only tell him that I eagerly await the sculpture's completion. Someone must have the answers we seek. If we ask around, we might just find them. Still, however pressed, no man is like to hand her his own wife, eh? But his lordship doesn't take no for an answer. He employed his usual method, which is to say, he dispatched the watchhead on a mission to slay a Dullahan. Poor old Gregor departed last night. I'm sorry to say it, but he shan't be returning alive. That's the sort of man that noble is, you see. Nought noble about him, if you ask me. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few.
Good tidings to you. Are you the Arisen, perchance? Aye, I thought you might be the one. My husband spoke of you, you see. Tis through him I hear much of the gossip going around town. I suppose you're here to see him. You'll have to come another day, I fear. He's been sent out on a mission, and I can't say when he'll return. Tis a perilous mission at that. I've heard he is to fell a Dullahan at the Ildua's resting place. I worry for him. I do hope he'll fare all right. Oh, Sir Ludolf, you say? Aye, we're acquainted. He's been coming around oft of late. As I recall, his visit started just before Gregor was given his new assignment. Why are you asking me about him? Does this have aught to do with my husband? What? No. You mean... Not my Gregor? Sir Arisen, I beg of you. You must save my husband. You will be repaid, I swear it. No amount of gold can compare to his life. Just please... Save him! Oh, thank goodness. Pray, go to him at once. My husband's life is in your hands, sir. Let us make haste. That no life may be lost on our account. The sea lies in the distance, and beyond it, a land unknown. What sort of place might it be, I wonder? Glad thing we rested than we did. We must not let down our guard. I grant you roaring flame. Round this. 